Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with another very amazing problem. It is uh, velocity of a flux in viscous liquid. So it's the extension of the very standard problems of uh, fluid mechanics uh, where we apply Bernoulli's uh, principle. So let's discuss this problem here. Uh, guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And uh, name of this problem is velocity of flux in vi uh, viscous liquid. Guys, my current courses uh, are uh, INPHO Foundation and J Advanced 2023. This course is starting tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. And it, it will be a very unique course uh, in terms of uh, both quality and uh, quantity. And it will be one of its kind in the whole country. So please tune in for that and uh, inform the relevant uh, people, those who are interested for Olympiad preparations, uh, mainly focused at INPHO can uh, look forward for it. And a series of mock tests are uh, going on for J Mains 2021. These are uh, very special papers and uh, these are previous GT papers where I have worked and uh, Yes, guys, you can uh, access my theory courses, which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your uh, J-Mains uh, and J advanced preparation. And you can unlock uh, free courses on Unacademy using my code Nitin Sir. And uh, wherever they are, uh, it is prompting for some invite code or uh, uh, you can say some passcode. You can use this uh, Nitin Sir code. And for more information, you can uh, visit www.unacademy.com. Guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is a statement of uh, this problem. It's an original problem, slightly modified from the existing uh, one. Uh, a liquid of density rho naught and coefficient of viscosity eta naught is kept in a cylindrical vessel having cross-sectional area A naught. At the lowermost point, a thin tube of length L and radius R naught is connected to the vessel. So this uh, uh, this radius is uh, very very small compared to this cross section area or you can say this area is very small compared to this like for standard uh, uh, standard velocity of efflux problem we take I am assuming the same uh, uh, concept here uh, all right so now these uh, four uh, problems we have to calculate first one is uh, volume flow rate uh, in the tube as a function of time number two height of liquid in the vessel at any time t and number three the time after which entire liquid will come out of the vessel and number four velocity of efflux few more points we can add here uh, like uh, the force acting on uh, uh, this vessel due to the liquid uh, such type of analysis can be done initial acceleration or if uh, this uh, container is kept on a rough surface then how much should be the velocity of efflux so that container can move at the initial instant such type of questions will be asked anyways here the concept part is it is the volume flow rate for a viscous fluid in a pipe is given by uh, uh, this is volume flow rate and this is the delta p is the pressure difference across the tube pi a to the power 4 where a is the radius of the tube divided by 8 eta l l is the length and eta is the viscosity this is uh, Poisley's equations guys So let's come to any instant of time t equal to t and we know at this particular instant here uh, let's say height of the liquid in the vessel is h this is the liquid level presently at this moment and uh, here we can say definitely as time passes this liquid is going to come down and this liquid is coming down means we can say h is decreasing or you can say dh by dt is going to be negative for us now for this particular pipe I can apply Poisley's equation here and I will write delta Q is equal dQ by dt I am writing as this is the volume flow rate all right and uh, this is delta P which is the pressure difference across the tube so here pressure is P1 and here it is P0 uh, so P1 minus P0 I can say and a pi R0 to the power 4 R0 is the radius of this pipe uh, and divided by 8 eta L so uh, dQ is the volume which is uh, entering in the pipe in a dt time which is a naught dh i can say a naught is this cross section area this height h is changing by dh so minus a naught dh kinematically if i write because dh is actually negative so here you can uh, see this is the volume so if i substitute this value here 
माइनस ए नॉट डी एच बाई डी टी एंड दिस पी वन माइनस पी नॉट विल कम इंस्टेड ऑफ डेल्टा पी पाई आर नॉट टू द पावर फोर बाई एट ईटा एल नाउ हियर आई कैन यूज दैट अप्रॉक्सीमेशन विच इज इफ ए नॉट इज वेरी वेरी लार्ज कंपेयर टू पाई आर नॉट स्क्वायर देन आई कैन से लिक्विड इज नियरली स्टेशनरी एंड इफ लिक्विड इज नियरली स्टेशनरी आई कैन राइट प्रेशर हियर इज पी नॉट प्लस रो जी एच इज इक्वल टू पी वन सो दैट इज वॉट आई हैव रिटर्न हियर पी वन इज इक्वल टू पी नॉट प्लस रो जी एच ना फ्रॉम हियर पी वन माइनस पी नॉट वैल्यू इज रो जी एच इफ आई सब्सिट्यूट इन दिस इक्वेशन हियर आई एम गेटिंग माइनस ए नॉट डी एच बाई डी टी रो जी एच पाई आर नॉट टू द पावर फोर बाई ए टी टायल नाउ इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन जस्ट सेपरेट द वेरिएबल्स इफ आई सेपरेट द वेरिएबल्स हियर दिस काइंड ऑफ टर्म्स आई एम गेटिंग दिस इज एल एन एच बाई एच नॉट सो इफ आई रिमूव दैट एल एन दैट विल कम इन द एक्सपोनशियल पावर सो हियर आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लेनिंग द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट आई थिंक ईजिली यू कैन मैनेज दैट पार्ट so i am going to get this h as h equal to h not e to the power minus pi rho g r not to the power 4 by 8 eta l a not into t this is going to be the answer for h as a function of time t so exponentially this h is going to decrease from uh, h not to 0 and it's going to take infinite time that's what i have written here this is the answer for third part so if h is tending to 0 t must be tending to infinity so it will take a very large time in order to empty the vessel now next is uh, volume flow rate so i am going to use this equation this is the volume minus a not uh, dh so minus a not dh by dt is going to be the volume flow rate and h as a function of time is known to you so if you differentiate this if you differentiate this h uh, with respect to time and substitute here you are going to get uh, volume flow rate as a function of time which is uh, decreasing exponentially so volume flow rate is maximum at the initial instant and then it becomes uh, zero finally after infinite time so dh by dt value guys i think easily you can uh, differentiate and you can substitute this is what we are going to get after differentiation and similarly velocity of efflux now we have volume flow rate so volume flow rate in the in the in the vertical part in this uh, bigger cross section area and in this part are going to be same and here i can write this uh, av cross section area into v that's going to be the volume flow rate so volume flow rate we have calculated already so this dq by dt is equal to a into ve pi r square into ve so just ve value i am going to get now Uh, after substituting this here i am going to get rho g h not r square by 8 eta l into e to the power minus pi rho g r not to the power 4 uh, by 8 eta l a not times t this is going to be the final answer guys i hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem and learned something new how to deal with the viscous liquids uh, so this equation is quite uh, handy poisley's equation all right so if you have enjoyed this video leave a like please share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another uh, amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it